all right guys welcome back to another video we have a lot of awesome things that are going to happen in this video the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring the wheel horse over here and we're going to take the engine off the frame and then we're going to spray the whole thing down with soapy water so we can get some of that grease off of there and then we will start repainting some of the parts that we sanded down so it's going to be a little bit difficult to push the wheel horse because i have no steering wheel to steer the front wheels so i'm definitely not gonna be able to do this on camera so the next clip you see it'll be in the yard all right we have it over here let's take the engine off of there i'm gonna bring the john deere over here with my tool trailer and then after we take the engine off of there we're gonna start spraying this thing down i can't get my impact gun that close to these bolts so i'm gonna use my breaker bar it shouldn't be that tight no Yuck, that's absolutely disgusting. So now I'm gonna figure out what wires I need to unbolt. All right, so we're gonna have to take quite a few things off. All right, so we got the starter and the ignition coil and solenoid panel that holds all that together. So now we're just gonna pick up on the engine and put it aside. Ooh. All right, so we have all the wiring and the engine off of there. This is all the wires, literally. That's it. That's crazy that this, this machine can operate off of this few amount of wires. Just check out today's modern mowers. I mean, it's, it's crazy how they used to build things back in the past. That's why I like this mower so much is because it's so simple to work on. So anyways, we have the wiring, the starter, and of course the engine itself. Let's spray this whole thing down and see if we can't get it a little bit cleaner than this. I don't think that helped too much, so I'm going to scrub this down off camera and see if I can get some more of that really caked on grease off of there. Alright, so I've done a lot of cleaning and it's a lot better than it was before, but it's far from perfect still. I may have to get a pressure washer and do some of this. Alright guys, so it's Tuesday, and it's officially the day we start painting some parts on the wheel horse. Now, the paint did come Monday, like I said it would, but it was here around 6 o'clock, which is a little bit too late. So now it's Tuesday, we got the red paint right here, Rust Oleum Regal Red. Let's get started. I have this thing ready i have the steering wheel completely taped off so i won't get anything on it and i have the inside taped off as well as you can see here and the reason i have it like that is because the original paint is still in really good condition so i don't see any reason to repaint that Alright, so we got the steering column primed. It looks good. That's a good looking primer. I can't wait to see it in regal red. Now in the meantime, I'm going to start getting other parts ready. I've got the, the, big, the big piece all ready, as ready as I'm going to get it. I've got the place where the model number and all that stuff taped off. Let's get started. We are done priming the big part. It looks like it came out very, very well. All 
All right, so we have finished the adjustment lever. We're going to paint it red after about four hours of drying. It looks like it came out pretty well. I knew the paint job wouldn't look as good as all the other stuff because that metal was really pitted in some spots and the rust really destroyed it, but it still is pretty good anyways. At least it'll have a fresh coat of regal red. All right, so it's been about four hours since we've repainted the steering column. And guess what? It's time to finally start painting it regal red. All right, so we have completed all of the coloring for the steering column. <laughs> and it looks so good. So we're going to let it dry for about four minutes. Then we're going to start on a clear coat. All right, so we are completely done with the steering column. Check that out. That turned out so good. Uh, it's been about an hour later, and... The the steering column it looks absolutely incredible there's a little bit of roughness here and there from when i couldn't get all the old paint off but this is gonna be under it so you won't see it the top part however looks nearly flawless it looks so good Alright, so we finished the color on the big piece, and it looks really nice. Second coat. Alright, so we have completely finished the big panel, or the big piece. It looks really good. Something on my camera. Alright, so anyways, it looks really good it's got a nice glossy finish to it and it's not mirror finish but i was not expecting that anyway it looks really really good all right so it is been about four hours since we primed the adjustment lever now it is time to paint it with the color and this is the last thing i'm going to be painting today i am exhausted All right, so I finished color on the uh, the adjustment lever. So now I'm gonna do the clear coat. I think I'll do that one off camera because I'm in a hurry. The sun is going down pretty soon and I really need to get this done. All right, so I finished the clear coat on the adjustment lever and it looks really good. I am very happy with the way everything turned out today. And like I've said a million times, I look forward to seeing this on the wheel horse when it's done. I got to get some things together. I'm going to go ahead and end the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. If you're stopping by for the first time and you have it already and you want to, please subscribe and ring the bell. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.